Shantae, I love your background. I love it too. <laughs> we are live on Facebook. Is that... No, it says we're live on Facebook. Are you in your room, Neil? Yeah, I'm in there. Can yeah, you yeah. see us? Uh, yeah. All right. We... Oh, yeah. I mean, the chat. Let me pull that up. It's... Ooh! <laughs> I saw myself scratch my nose. <laughs> hey, hey, we're live. F this. F this. F this. Fuck this, Mr. White. Oh yeah. Well, all right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Should we uh, wait for people to show up? Or... No, uh, we will no. just. They probably showed up and left already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's two people. So let's let's just hey, fucking well. let's just jump in here. All right. We are we are live on Facebook. No, this is a, the this yeah. is this is a lovely episode of Eight with F. This. Your mom. So so this is a very 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 special episode. Because um, we're sitting here, and one of the founders, yeah. one of the founders of um, the F This Network, is um, older today. He's a little older today. He's a, it's little, a very important day. He's a little older, and he's a little, a little, a little wiser, wiser, and yeah. a little, a little prettier. We did the no, math. We, say that. we found out he was thirty today. Uh, yes, we did that. <laughs> Yeah. Don't lie, it's like 38, I think. No. The last 10 years were rough, so I'm not counting them. It's, uh, the last 10 30, years. <laughs> it's 30 part 10. Right? That's right. <laughs> so everybody minus 10 on your age today. Yes. That, well, that that's, includes... I can't. Definitely minus one. <laughs> this year doesn't count. Yeah, this year does not even count. Fuck this year. Yeah, fuck 2020 for sure. All right, folks. Well, welcome to... Uh, F this. I'm Duff. Shantae. Swanili. <laughs> the mic's right in your face, Duff. Just like that. Ah. <laughs> okay, let's finish. You want to introduce yourself, sweetheart? Sarah. 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 Hi, Sarah. Mr. Dress Up. That's right. <laughs> the wonderful Mr. Dress Up. Folks, that, no, that's fucking Malcolm, here. that guy. That's me, Malcolm. That's fucking guy. It's me, Malcolm. Hi. What the F is are you listening yet? Hi to anybody. He would say hi. What the f's up, folks? Hey, drop a message in the chat and let us yes. know if we're coming through clear and loud and in beautiful. your face and annoying. Let us know if you're a part of the Wound Train Clan. Oh. Throw up your uh, uterus sign, please. That's right. Wait, I'm not good at it. Is this good? That's so good. <laughs> I'm like, I got one here. I can just like just show it to us. <laughs> yes. In all of its womb glory. Yeah. I like seeing womb. Womb it good. Everybody's coming in nice. Womb it good. <laughs> womb it good. <laughs> all right. What the F is up, guys? How the fuck are you? Good, good, good. You're pretty cool. fantastic. Uh, really? Everyone's really? so great today. I, I... <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> it's the day of Malcolm's birth. How could it not be a good day? That's the one good thing, though. The one good thing. There's... Well, I mean, like. Okay, well, you gotta elaborate, what's in, Sarah. What's, in, what's up in Cali, Sarah? Yes. Tell us. Absolutely fucking nothing. What's the nothing. Difference? Everybody's going crazy. Closet. All right. Closet what? Closet? Elaborate. Is it hot over there? Oh. No, actually, it's been really nice. It's like high 60s low 70s perfect got some breeze yeah, we had a little bit of rain yesterday it's supposed to happen like this nasa predict what, when the world ends <laughs> no Na secret nasa secret nasa. Na secret nasa told us that NASA. the sun is taking a break this year he's tired <laughs> social That's distancing right. couldn't put it better everything else <laughs> He's like, fuck these humans. I'm just going to, you know, go over here. Screw your potatoes. Oh, yeah. over side hey, potatoes and cheese are the only thing that is keeping us going right now, Shantae. I'm concentrating on penis this year. No big deal. Did you say penis? With sure. A, with a penis. penis. Sure. <laughs> I'm a big penis. 
big fat phones. Um, uh, what do you call it? Um, Google level agglomeration of penis and anus. anus. What the fuck did you just say? Was that even English? What? It was anger. <laughs> 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 out at me. <laughs> All right, guys. I really want to know what the F is up. Oh, really? Hey, how the out. fuck are you? Pretty good. Neil, speaking of Mike. I am pretty good. I'm day two of my week long vacation. Nice. Yeah. All right. All right. Raise the guess, roof. Guess who he's fucking spending it with? Us. You got me, too. I'm here. <laughs> us. <laughs> You are a part of us. So cool. He can sit with us, right, Shantae, at the table. <laughs> table. All right. Everybody else? Oh, uh, I'm good. I had a good day today. It was a great day. We're just getting ready to move. We're just like, <laughs> everyone's busy, busy, having fun. Yeah. We went and blew up some shit. Yeah, we went to the restaurant. Oh, yeah. We so literally fun. shot the shit. That's right. We, we, saw, shot. we shot some shit. Shot some shit. <laughs> <laughs> shot up good. <laughs> and <laughs> my lovely wife, um, she got a brand new fizzone. Finally, she's my she is like four years old. She is finally, finally Broken. with the twenty second uh, century. Nobody could talk to me. Are we in the twenty like, second century? Me, I couldn't answer. I know. I think it's like is it twenty first still? I don't know. Yeah. What's today? Tuesday. Twenty first century. Yeah. Last year. Twenty uh, first century sucks. I just told I told Chris I don't care what phone I get. I just need to take really great pictures because I take pictures all the time. And let me Ooh. tell you, this thing takes great pictures. That's a fucking lie. She said she wants. <laughs> I just had to have an iPhone so like... because she doesn't know anything else. That's not true. She has to be different. No, it's just it's easier for. Her. That Why? Because it's got like the great big icons, like a little lady that has to have like the what is it, the jitterbug, yeah, the big I'm phone. So blind, I love it. Large, large, colorful, colorful Homer Simpson buddy. Color flower. No, she's beautiful no. thing about Apple phones. No, no, is that no you she just was, plug them in and they're ready to go. No, seriously though, she was like, I don't care what phone it is as long as I have a great phone. I was like, well, I'm gonna get you something. Phone. I'm gonna get you something that you're fucking used to, so I'll get you a fucking nice iPhone. So that's best hubby I mean. ever. Great. Yes. So that happens. Yeah. I'm so first fucking world right now. <laughs> <laughs> Super. Any company in the chat room right now? Uh, well, yeah, I see four people, but I can't really see who they are. Oh, that's pretty yeah. sad. All right, folks. I think it. they're all my homies. Hey, guys. Start, <laughs> share your shit. <laughs> share your shit. Log in Everybody and share the room. I did. In case anybody's wondering, because what I keep sticking in my mouth, I got popcorn. Popcorn. And then I get gin. I have scotch and energy it's not really it's fleshy it's just alcohol same thing yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what um put it in your mouth are we gonna are we gonna let's okay so look nothing is effing up with us the word no we're, no way I mean, everyone's I mean, here hanging out because we're getting ready to move and that's about yeah. it with us we're, uh, we're all literally doing that getting what, in on that okay let's let's break down the last time that we fucking spoke to each other what the fuck did we do since then since the last episode? Yes. Oh, wow, how the fuck are you? We can't really do anything. Quarantine's like got our asses on lockdown. Yeah, we talked a uh, good deal of quarantine and whatnot. And what, what I wanted to touch on this episode was um, <clears throat> what do we think the future holds, the new normal? Yes. Right? Yeah. So, F this quarantine. F this quarantine. Test COVID. <laughs> So right now, uh, we were just informed today <laughs> from a couple yeah, of different, uh, a couple different news kidding. outlets that now we all need to be wearing masks when we're out and about, too. So yes. like most of you guys in Southern California and all over in the States, everyone's wearing masks, and it's one of those things that's like everyone has to wear masks. So now, they're saying because they're starting to open things up here, and also kids are going to school and stuff like that, where everyone has to wear masks. So it wasn't mandatory before, but now they're saying that everyone should be wearing that's you know what's really that's weird? That's that an update. Was new today. Yes, that is an update. 
right. That's weird that you say that it's mandatory there because I think it was, now don't quote me on this because I don't fucking know, uh, but I think it was LA that said that it was optional because people were like, oh, our rights are being infringed upon. And they were like, well, fucking breathe the air if you want to, then asshole, just stay six feet away. But I, I don't, I don't know. Everything feels like I'm in like a bubble or a cloud. There's schools saying that they're going to start. There's your guys' schools that are starting. Now, that's fucking scary, honestly, as a parent's perspective. Like, oh, yeah, we're not. If they were to open the. <laughs> yeah, no, I wouldn't send optional my kids. Like, it's optional. Yeah, I think that same thing's going to happen here, actually, too. I, I just, yeah, I, I, no, I'm not. My kid's not going to school. Mm-hmm. No. I, it's, can nobody. You, can you picture your kid sitting in a bubble and then, like, they have to have. Like, they're, I don't even understand how they're going to be washing hands and going to the bathroom and making sure these kids are washing their hands, not spitting on each other and licking doorknobs and whatever <laughs> the hell kids do all day. Right. Shitting like, on the floor. Stop licking that right. doorknob. Like, <laughs> always has his hands in his mouth. Yes. All the time. We're like, get your or fingers out of his mouth. Or something. I'm like, he's not going. No. He's not Taking going. his nose. Something. Like, yes. Something. Boys, kids are gross, man. And they were like, um, we're gonna send the kindergarten through sixth graders back or something like that. Yeah. And the reason and the reason and like, those ones are the worst. The reason why they said <laughs> mm-hmm. that they, their justification is because children don't get as affected as older people. Mm-hmm. And I don't know how true that is because there's so... I don't think it's actually true that, to a certain extent, man. Like I think they can still it. just spread it just as much as anybody else. I agree. And that's the problem. They're petri dishes. Exactly. Also, we don't know everything. Everyone, yeah. everything is changing daily. So I yeah. just don't think that anybody should be making any assumptions at this point. It's and, too early to tell. And like we just recently got hit with a, what, uh, what was it? China just got hit with a oh, yeah. uh, got second got wave. The second oh. wave two is in full effect in China. It's, there's 30 cases, but there's zero deaths, thankfully. But I think, honestly, this fucking virus is mutating, and that means that we're all fucked for, like, the foreseeable future. I think it's yeah. constantly going to be mutating until we get mm-hmm. it out. Oh, yeah, that's pretty much how viruses work, is, like, the flu is, like, a virus. And once we figure it, once we figured out a vaccine for it, then uh, we are able to, you know, come up with a new vaccine each year. But yeah. that's, like you know, looking like it's coming out 2021, maybe even 2022. Yeah. That's the foreseeable future is that they're predicting 2021 later in the year for a vaccine. And that's... Honestly, though... Lucky. That's that's if they're they're just getting lucky with these situations that they're predicting. Yeah. And I I really... Mm -hmm. I really don't see it happening. This is... This... Okay... So this breaks down the whole situation that we were talking about. This is this is going to be the future of our lives, the right? The new normal. The new normal yeah. that we're going to have to understand and live through now, because we don't have a handle on anything. Yeah. As much as people like to f- fucking hope and hope that we have a handle on, we don't. No, we never will. No, because because even with the immunizations, like the flu, it only covers like 13% of the strain. And it's it's, even then it's to give you horrible, horrible, you know, flu like symptoms. Like, okay, you're going to get sick and like have the flu, or you're going to have a shot that will keep you from getting the flu, but you'll feel like shit anyway. Like, yeah. Yeah. And it's, and it's, and it's not even that situation. And we're, we're concentrating a little too much on, 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 the unimportant things that are our reality right now. Right. Like, we're not concentrating on figuring out a fucking a vaccine. We're concentrating on the economy right now because we're yep. a capitalistic world. Mm-hmm. So everybody's like, oh, we're worried about this. We're worried about our economy. Our economy is failing. Our failing. You know what? You, we have multi billion, multi trillion organizations that can take a hit for the next fucking 10 yeah. fucking years. Yeah. 10, 20, 30 fucking years and never lose money. Yeah, but they'll still inflate their prices, though. Of course they will. I I came across, like, somebody presented a really good solution, and it was that all these companies that expect payments, all these, like, mortgages, uh, Mm -hmm. 
well, if they all had put like a three month pause on it and then just add it on to the term later so that it would help everybody. Right. Like they should have really done that. It's like nobody, they're not losing that money. Uh, people won't have to worry about, you know, oh, well, it's either rent or food. Which are we going to go with this month? Right. If they had done that, if they put a pause and then added that three months on to their term, like, the rest of their term, yeah. then it, you know, there's, everybody there's wins. No loss. Everybody wins. Yeah, there's no loss. But they kept going. With it. Yeah. So the, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is that they can take a fucking loss. Yeah. They can take a hit for the next fucking ten years and still be fucking billionaires and trillionaires. Yeah. That's that's the thing. The thing is, is, is that we're in a we, we live in a capitalistic fucking environment where everything is revolved around making money. Yeah. But that's all we know as a, as a society, as a yeah. world. I mean, we can't take a break from it because we don't know anything else. Yeah. Yep, that's exactly right. How do all these businesses not like? What the heck do they do with their profits? Like, if they have like all these billions or millions of profits, why weren't they putting them up, uh, aside for a rainy day the way that they all tell individual people, oh, you should save your money for a rainy day? Well, where's where's their money? Why can't they help out their workers? Their employees? Yeah. Because it's probably stock or something else entirely different. Well, I look at the state too. Or or it's just fucking they're 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 money hoarders like most billion trillionaires are. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or they invest it in stocks and shit. I mean, apparently stocks are going up right now. For I don't know much about stocks, but my sister actually works for the state of California, um, and they're already talking about furlough days and cutting these guys' you know hours and their pay so that they can pay all the stimulus checks that they're talking about. Honestly, why don't you dip into those fat? pockets that these white wigs have you know sitting up there in the council like what the fuck good are you you can't really pass a lot of laws and bills right now go home be with your family on your yacht social distance from the other yachts like let your your paycheck for a couple months go to the people when they need it when they're starving when they don't have a way to pay for their home you know first of all i think Seriously, they need to teach thousand dollar fucking paycheck go to somebody else let Thank it you. Another fucking two or three other four other fucking people, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, like fucking. It's not even a month. That's not even a month salary for them. Mm -hmm. No. You know, you know, people are you know, like even like when the president's salary, when you consider it, right? Whatever the president's salary is beyond what they already are, they're making over a hundred thousand dollars a year. Why do they have to make that much fucking money? They don't have to pay for time, shit. And most of the time, the presidents donate their fucking, their, their paycheck. Most of the time. I think uh, Bush was one of the ones that didn't. Um, for fucking sure, Trump isn't fucking donating his fucking paycheck. He said that he would not be taking a paycheck, but we don't know because all that's askew right now. There's not a lot of transparency with that. Exactly. All right, so this is the present. What is the future looking like? <laughs> post pandemic future. Post post pandemic future. How do you guys feel about that? I think um, <clears throat> it feels like they're going to keep trying to open shit up and keep doing this phase thing. Like, you know, we want to open up the schools first, and we want to open up this person and that person. I feel like they're going to keep doing that. People are going to start congregating again in big numbers and people are going to start getting infected like crazy and then mm -hmm. they're going to force everybody back indoors again for another mandatory uh, isolation and right. that's just going to that's just going to keep happening i think it's going to go back and forth until cycling. they figure it out it's yeah. like, it's gonna keep, keep like the only way that we're going to be able to even tr try to shake this is to stay inside mandatorily for a and long time do what we're with doing. no exceptions See, and for a long then time. that's our foreseeable future is yeah. sheltering in place I really don't see an end to that. See, if this had happened, like, just as winter began, nobody would be going out there. Because no. nobody wants to go out there. <laughs> yeah. Because it's fucking spring and going to be summer, people are like, oh, we need to go hike. We need to go to the beach. Yeah, especially here. 
Dude, and and no. it's, it's all good and, and fun and stuff when you're isolating while you're doing your, your outdoor stuff, like going hikes and, and going for swims and whatnot. But don't just don't start congregating in mass numbers. Yeah. Right. All right. Don't start We're like, protesting in mass numbers. Okay. Fucking retards. Yeah, oh, my God. That's just mm. ridiculous. No, it's like, like you're showing that you can work out outside together, but like they're grouped together. My sister, actually, my oldest sister. Hi, Steph, if you're watching. She had just said that um, that guy who had orchestrated this huge uh, stand out for the whole thing and protested against, you know, coronavirus, no mask. He came down with the coronavirus and he died. And then his widow is on the TV saying, well, if he had it to do all over again, he wouldn't do it. Well, that's the fucking point. You get one go at this. You don't have nine lives like a cat. You don't, you know, you don't get a magical ticket when you cross the corner of train tracks, you know not we'll just, do these things can we just listen yeah. to the experts every fucking once in a while because yeah. they have some fucking point yeah even if they're not accurate listening to them is what's it gonna hurt right. it's keeping you safe and other people safe right. why, would these, why would these doctors and nurses lie about this type of shit exactly this isn't they're not the media why why is the agree why is the whole world a part of this conspiracy theory mm -hmm. right Fuck off. I'm sorry, but if they're off. shutting down pubs in Ireland, that shit's pretty fucking serious. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. If they're shutting fucking Disneyland down, <laughs> it's a pretty serious situation. It's Disneyland Disney. can't even buy three ply toilet paper. They buy one ply toilet paper. You better wrap that shit or else your finger's going. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look, if casinos are shutting down and all this degenerate. They just opened up a casino out here. <laughs> It well, seems actually I, I believe they're actually gonna be putting up like plastic guards between each come on, right? I'm like yeah. that's more taxpayer money though to pay for that shit. Well, well, do actually, they not know about online gambling? Actually, right? you can actually, spend money online if you want. Uh, you guys <laughs> selling your money online. Yeah. So okay. so actually <laughs> online gambling has been has gone up quite a bit. Quite a bit. Yeah. Like a ridiculously. Lot. Like, So's day drinking. It's like like the marble racing <laughs> on marble racing since there's no actual sports to bet on, right? Right? marble racing actually, there's oh, that's marble not fun as fuck actually i'm gonna go place a bet actually you can also bet on pro wrestling too you oh, would know the that only nice. thing going on. any kind of i want to bet on like little actually, chickens racing actually, this weekend uh, this weekend they're gonna have <laughs> they're gonna have a Jeez, ufc Sarah. ufc without audience oh yeah that that's, that's, so what, that's what that's what wwe is yeah that's what wwe is doing that's what what has it been like for you what's your yeah. experience watching so, professional wrestling without crowds so watching wwe without crowds has been unbearable because they don't put anybody <laughs> in the crowd <laughs> yeah i so, i heard that they put no, blow up I, dolls and sex I, dolls in yeah. the crowd but there's but AEW. that would be amazingly but, fun so, i thought they did, did they? Is, has done is they put their performers in the, in the crowds and it makes a world of a difference <laughs> oh like a world of a difference <laughs> because but, they're fake uh, no. No. <laughs> because there's eyeballs they're like, they're like separated in the side. crowd yeah they're they're like six there's feet like, apart still okay. six <laughs> <laughs> don't want the dolls like, getting sick of them, like, oh no no like, no like they're actually out there like, <laughs> that's what i'm saying chante put a couple of bears up there so, so what, they did, what they did is they put all the good guys on one side and all the bad guys on the other side and the bad guys one is a lot more entertaining because some of them will be like betting on some <laughs> 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 That almost makes what a wonderful world we live so, in. So, uh, Fucking awesome. AEW, Entertainment, baby. Yeah, AEW is going to have a pay-per-view I'm going to watch this weekend. <laughs> so I'm going to be watching that over UFC. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me... I can say something about UFC before we move on. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think it's going to be really strange for the fighters. Uh, because, fuck me. Because they amped because it up. Brash, charismatic fighters rely on that crowd stimulus, right? They rely on the cheering. True. Riled up, so it's gonna be a lot different. It's gonna be, Actually, I feel it's gonna be more like a sparring match. I, I don't think so. think so. So, the way the reason I say that is because there was a pro wrestler that went into MMA, um, and he was trying to like feed off the crowd and everything, and he lost. And a lot of the experts were saying his head wasn't in the game, he was he was pandering to the crowd when he should have focused on his opponent. You're talking about CM Punk, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I think, I think. 
I think these fights will be a bit what, more entertaining what I'm, because what I'm talking, they're more focused. What I'm, what I'm talking about is that they draw their energy from it, right? It's not mm. so much like 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 showboating, pandering, pandering mm. but they yeah. just they draw that. You get psyched up. That's how you get psyched mm. up for a fight, right? You get a crowd cheering for you. Yeah, right. it'd be you like, like your corner shot cheering of an for you. adrenaline when yeah. you hear the crowd. It's all about the psyche, yeah. Yeah. So exactly, it's, it's about the psyche. So I feel like I feel like I'm gonna check it out. I want to watch it. I want to see what it's like. I do. I seriously want to watch it. Yeah, so. I think we should go to the casino this weekend and watch it. <laughs> <laughs> because the casino is opening up. Fuck that. Noise. <laughs> so, speaking of uh, post pandemic future, I think we can, you know. Say goodbye to buffets all together. Oh, oh dude. Yeah. Oh, Sadly, yeah, I I mean, no more chocolate fountain. I don't think they're going to be. Yeah. Fuck that. I got one at my house, Shantae. No Come on down, baby. Fountains. <laughs> no, no more fountain parties. We got parties. chocolate You're not... <laughs> That smells the end, for sure. It I ends will. a lot of people's, like, the end. Um, hearts, or it ends their hopes and dreams. Bye-bye, Panda Express. Stop. Yeah, whenever they stop by in Prince Bye bye China Cups. Or China Cups. No <laughs> I'm, totally no. I'm going to miss Panda. Is that the one? PF P- Chang? Is that PF Chang? No. Panda you can get that at Stater Brothers in the freezer section. <laughs> yeah, you can get PF Chang. Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah. It tastes like shit, but it still it's has, you know. Like a lot of people go to those places for like, the experience, yeah. too, right? Right? Yeah. You go there yeah. for the fun. And all that. No more, no more, no more fucking Mongolian fucking takeout. Yeah, Mongolian barbecue. No more Mongolian yeah. barbecue. Okay, how hard is Mongolian barbecue? You literally get a stone slab, get it really hot, put a whole bunch of shit on there, some oil. Yeah. You know, there's YouTube channels about it. We'll get with it. I'm just saying, there's no more experience of that going out. That's true. If we can do all this. Can we can do all this shit our fucking selves. Oh my god, I love that YouTube channel, something. Build your own Mongolian barbecue in your Fuck backyard. Yeah. Dude, Malcolm, fun uh, funny enough, talking about doing your own things, Malcolm and I have been talking about doing our own luau. Oh! Yeah. We want to roast a pig. We want to roast a whole Oh, no, we're going to do a moose. We're, we're going to roast yeah, a whole Really? The moose. moose, you know? The moose are my favorite. <laughs> a big 40-foot square hole and drop the moose in there and just light it on fire with gas and then cover it up with leaves. <laughs> No, really. I just can't. We're thinking, we're thinking about getting a pig and getting a pig from Smithers and doing the whole situation ourselves. Oh, we're gonna raise. Should them. we have a luau now? Just, just <gasps> you are not gonna raise a pig we're and then kill raise it. A pig, we're gonna name him Bill. No, you're not. Bill up and eat his fucking ass. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this is your ass muncher. No, I brought the Damn luau. Straight. The luau here tonight. What? I brought a luau here tonight. Oh, we have a luau tonight. Yeah, that's what? right. Yeah. All right. Should we do You're that? a dirty fucking scruffy motherfucking nerf herder. What? Oh, what's yeah. happening? <laughs> I, have no I have no idea what's going, going on here. On. <sighs> Hurry up, Shante. <laughs> dirty fucking nerf herder. Nerf herder. What is a nerf herder? Is that like the nerf guns? To our, our listeners and our watchers right now, just to recap, it is Malcolm's birthday today, so we are going to do something a little fancy for our favorite guy. Our main video feed, we just lost it. Oh, cause... God damn it. <laughs> plug it back in, Neil. <laughs> Neil's plugging it back in, y'all. Hold on. Oh, they can see my glorious ass face. There you go. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> okay. Hang on, guys. We're working with it. Oh, we got lays. You're getting laid, bro. Wait, they, you guys got to get the video feed back up, man. Did Neil plug it in again? Yeah. I can't see anything. Hold on, I fix it. I'll take care of this. Let's All right. see. Sorry. I like it. WD yeah. heck. <laughs> okay, I can see Fucking you guys on the Facebook nerf thing, nerf but nerf. I can't see you. Oh, there you are. Okay. Give us a second here. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Hello. Technical difficulties? I know this is a problem with live. That's oh, not my feed. Okay, one second. I gotta remove my cans. Take my. You guys gotta adjust the camera down a little bit, Shantae, if you can. My lucky podcast hat. I gotta step away for a moment. Where are you going? Thank you, Chris. To adjust the camera. Hello. I would totally have a lay, but you know. 
California. <laughs> okay. It's kind of tricky to put my headphones on after. <laughs> you should oh, have just had it on top. Can I take the hat? Does this one go on my head? <laughs> That's for your arm meal. <laughs> okay, it's fantastic. Sorry, folks. We're getting in the getting in the mood here. We're getting since we can't go to Hawaii, Hawaii is coming to us. That's right. Yeah, sorry guys, I didn't have a birthday hat. All I found was Minnie Mouse ears. <laughs> That'll work. So. That'll work. That'll do, kid. <laughs> That's got one. Okay. Let's see. Where can I put this? <laughs> Just hold it. That's gonna be your your birthday thing. Hi, hi guys. Staff. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'll put it in my boots. Are you surprised? This, today has been full of surprises, honestly. Who needs a lay? That's the best. Hey, it took us I'll so long two. is that uh, me and Tree were blowing up all these balloons. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. We were trying to be sneaky and then like including Bob for a long time we should hurry up. <laughs> all right, Malcolm. You gotta open up your uh, present over there. Put this in your mic. Sarah, are you ready? Your mic stand. Yeah. It, they were really hard to find, just so you know. Um, the Lays? So, first of all, Malcolm, there's a deck of cards I got for you. And yeah. it's on top of a present of, from Sarah. Yeah. And it's right there by your mouse. Okay. So, first, so cards. Deck so, we got you cards. Whoa, these are cool. Check this out. Stop. He's like, I know I bought them. <laughs> so, so, we have another set of, of cards that we play games with. I'm trying to get it on camera properly here. Unbox it. Are you gonna unbox them? Should I unbox it? I don't know. I don't know. These are like regular playing cards, right? Like ace, king, queen. I think so. Dude, Dude that's why you should unbox this them. This is pimp. Okay, I'm gonna unbox it. We could totally play like I wanna move solitaire. The there we go. <laughs> All right, here we go with the unboxing of the Star Wars cards. I don't wreck the box. Sarah didn't have a party hat, so she put her mini mouse ears on. Yeah. That works. The code word for the explosion of fun was scruffy, scruffy, scruffy looking nerd herder. But he drank, so he added a couple more motherfuckers in there. He really did. <laughs> I would have added those motherfuckers he, anyway. He started so talking about Lou out, so I was like, what? Sure. what? That was perfect, you guys. Right? Rebels, bitches. Dude, it came with a box. Oh, it's got a cave. <laughs> Yeah, tin case. <laughs> oh, nice. We totally got sidetracked. This is the F this show, just it's random done. shit everywhere. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Some of our it's audience is saying happy mm -hmm. birthday. I found those yeah. and I didn't even know they were like super dope. Thank you, audience members. Okay, I don't want to, I don't know if I should open the deck. Though. No, open them. Open them. We got to no, see them. No, don't open it. Open them. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Calm down. It's his birthday. You can cry if you yep. want. You can open it if you want. He could even the lick them. Like the like, I should have bought two. Right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's weird, and he doesn't have nails. I got a knife. Oh, oh a knife. <laughs> everyone busted out their right. knives right now. Canadian. Right. That's not Canadian. That's just gangster, baby. White people. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> No, because out here it would have been like a gun or <laughs> shoot the bazooka. I'll, I'll I'll blow it up. It was like a thing of cigarettes. It was like You're one pathetic loser. <laughs> <laughs> it was like mm -hmm. uh, okay. So these are the cards. You still like got to use my knife. Fresh. Yeah. <laughs> those are some fresh cards. Fresh to death. So fresh. Okay, okay, so let's have a look at some of them. Oh, they got fresh as heck. Yeah. Fresh as heck. I, I, <laughs> I hope it's a so I swear. Oh, that's Ace. I thought it was Queen. Okay. He's oh, such an Ace. Yeah, he is definitely. <laughs> Aces, bitches. He, if I can right? drop Jesus. the desk. Who's right? looking at you, Ace? Oh, it's a. So we got, they got different systems. So we got some cool systems. Mm -hmm. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> fucking dope shit. Thank you, guys. That's fucking killer. Oh. Very, very welcome, brother. I'll probably never play with it, though. No, they'll stay in their tin. 
Yeah, go right out there next to Beaver. It'll be your, <laughs> yes. your family heirloom. Right, That's right. And the next, <laughs> next gift is a present from Sarah. Mm-hmm. And we have no idea what this whole situation it's means. So, Sarah, maybe you can right, explain right. it. I don't know if you guys are down. <laughs> I don't know if there's too much of an inside joke. I don't know. Is it? It's is an it, inside joke. Malcolm knows. Is it a dirty inside so, joke? Um, no. Oh, very. Very dirty? Ovary? We like it dirty inside jokes. Okay. I like how, because I'm watching the feed on my phone and he's like adjusting his little hat. <laughs> he's showing it to you. The headphones and the hat, like, they don't want to coincide. <laughs> <laughs> so he just showed everybody in this a lasagna. That's a picture of lasagna. On a brown wrapped gift paper. Yeah. <laughs> brown paper bag wrapped yeah. thank you guys for pulling through by the way it's actually brown wrapping paper not a paper bag. we didn't do anything it came like this <laughs> shut your mouth sarah shut your mouth sarah why do you got to ruin things just shut your mouth i was drinking well so am i but i still don't ruin things <laughs> you do too you ruin them with your fat mouth stop fighting guys <laughs> Oh boy, yeah. Malcolm, it's not 100% gold. Rip the fucking paper off. When I start ripping shit, it obviously starts wrecking. So we I'm tape them all together. <laughs> so. They were so hard to find. You have yeah. no idea. It was ridiculous. Contraband. Bro, that's it. Is that that stuff you like, Malcolm? Is that that smell you like? It's cute. <laughs> Soap? Soap? No, bro. Smells like butt. Box and look at it. This bars of soap. <laughs> <laughs> bars of soap, bro. My hat. My hat. <laughs> little, uh, little vase of cologne, huh? Yeah. I couldn't find the big one anywhere. <laughs> like nobody could. It's kind of weird, actually. It's Hugo Boss Red. Yes. Is that your thing? Is that the one? Did I get it right? Mm-hmm. He's putting it on like a girl. Look at him. <laughs> put it in between your tits, a little bit of cleavage, you know? <laughs> Movies, man. You gotta put it up there. You gotta put them on your pressure plates. Yeah. Is that the one, though? Yeah. That's amazing. Thank you. That's yeah? A lifetime supply. <laughs> yeah, bro. I still got that other bottle I bought like seven years ago. No, you have a. Oh, fuck. god damn it. I didn't know you had a bottle. Fuck. Now you got an extra yeah, bottle. You can't, you can't ever have too much. Supply. And they, they do go stale after a while, too. So there's Yeah, that. there's that. You'll be smelling fresh till death till you die. Hell yeah. I think it's amazing. <laughs> much appreciated. so welcome. So there's that guy. We no, hope you guys so enjoyed our happy birthday time. Oh, well, happy birthday. <laughs> what were we talking about before the luau? So now the luau is going to continue. Full yeah. on party mode. <laughs> For those of right. you who just joined us, Hawaii has come to this podcast and we're celebrating uh, Malcolm's birthday. That's right. A Thank luau. You. A Thank luau you. showed up. And we're like, all right. Cheers. So showed in. Cheers. You guys Sancha. are my favorite people. With cilantro. cilantro. Cilantro at this table. <laughs> okay. Do, does any one of you like think cilantro smells like soap? A little oh, bit, you're weird. but I like it. Does it no, it smells delicious. Yeah, yeah great. it's great. It tastes fantastic. So, to some people, though, it does. It smells like it's like a thing. That's bizarre. No. It is a thing. It is a it's very a thing, thing, but it tastes amazing. You know what we should talk about right now? What? The What's urban what? word. Urban, urban word. word. Urban word. Urban word of the day. Urban word of the day. All right. Well, this is my segment, motherfuckers. Listen up. <laughs> plugged in. Uh, are you unplugged? Am I unplugged? You can't hear me or what? Uh, one of the I can hear you. Said that, uh, well, if everybody can hear me, I guess I can hear you. It might have been when I pulled the mic away to open the gift. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I think that's why. Could, they might be able to hear me now. But okay. I think. All right. Wade will let us know. Come on, Wade. Tell us. Tell us. Can you hear Malcolm? Sarah, did you just choke? <laughs> Are you dying? Well, it was very strong drink. I think I poured way too much gin in there. Whoa. <laughs> Too much gin. That sounds not like, possible. I know. That sounds like a pussy. Oh. Don't talk about well, it. I have one, so. Bam. <laughs> Doesn't make you one. <laughs> so what's the urban word, yo? All right. So this is this is this is the urban word of the day. 
The urban word of the day is witch's kiss. Tell me, tell me, tell me. What do you guys think? Uh, is question. it? Is it dirty? Is it dirty? Uh, a little bit and a little bit not. Whoa. Okay. Is it an STD? All right. All right, all right, all right go ahead, Neil. Give it to me. It's uh, it's an old, unattractive lady kissing you. All right, all right. <laughs> that's, 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 that's really? You took a literal term. <laughs> Sometimes the simplest answer. Sometimes at Christmas, <laughs> my grandma kisses me when it's weird. Usually the simplest answer is the proper solution. But in this case, you are entirely wrong. Okay. If there's anything we've learned on this show, it's just going to be the same. Yeah, the first answer is usually... If we've learned anything. <laughs> All right, anybody else? Any more? We don't, we don't tend to learn anything. Anybody else? I think it's an STD. Wow. <laughs> you went from the really innocent, cute little kissing to Sarah. I think right. it's a hickey. Hickey, that's, oh, a, hickey. That's, that's, that's a good guess. Good I like that. Answer. Ooh, that's a good yeah. one. It's okay. kind of dirty, kind of not. All right, all right. So Sarah, um, Sarah, no, wait, 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 Sarah, wait. I got to give Sarah her yes or no. Right. Sarah, it is wrong. Eh, you're wrong. Mm-hmm. And Shante, eh, so mean to Sarah. <laughs> and eh, you're wrong too, Shante. Okay. I'll punch it. him when he gets here. <laughs> okay, well, which is kiss? That sounds lovely. Go ahead, punch me wherever. Can I get some Jeopardy music? All right. Um, Ooh, do it. Push a button. It's I'm a little teapot. We're not here. I haven't watched Jeopardy in I I almost forgot what the fuck the I seriously almost forgot what the fucking Jeopardy music was. It's I'm a little teapot. I haven't watched it on Netflix ever. Alright. Alright. One person sing the Jeopardy song. Everybody, okay, everybody, jump. That's the end of Jeopardy. (laughs) Wait, sing, wait, sing the Jeopardy Jeopardy song. Okay, let's see. Uh, All right, just kiss, which is kiss, which is which is kiss, Malcolm, which is kiss. What is it? I'm gonna say. I don't fucking know. <laughs> just give a fucking shot in the uh, dark. I'm sticking up ragged chloroform over someone's face. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's kinky. That is. It's, not, it's kind of dirty, kind of not. Kind of kind dirty. <laughs> no, that's dirty, homie. That like, I don't think that's not. <laughs> Dude, there is no not there. It's a lot of dirty. Oh. All right. No, ain't wrong. Absolutely wrong. You are all fucking wrong. Okay. Darn. The answer is this. Which is kiss. Yeah. The cold, wet sensation when your penis accidentally touches the porcelain of the toilet bowl. I will bring it to oh. a sentence. Yeah. Jerry made a mistake of leaving of leaning over by <laughs> his shoelace whilst on the throne and felt the Intimate touch of the witch's kiss. Who does that? I guess I gotta lean over and tie my shoelace while I'm fucking. That going. must be like a long ass spaghetti noodle, if you know what I mean. It's like, oh, I would got... you look at that? I need to tie my shoelace. All right, all right, all right. Anyway, got... <laughs> and I'm not gonna get up off the toilet to do so. All right, all right, all right. Whilst, whilst, whilst we're talking about the witch's <laughs> kiss, we do have some gentlemen at the table. What? <laughs> You guys have experienced this? They we... got penises, Shantae. Have we Sorry. experienced right. this? <laughs> I know what cold tea is. Uh, you want to know what cold tea is? Twice. My nuts have hit the fucking is. water. Like That's cold tea. tea. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold tea when your balls dip into the toilet water. <laughs> yeah, I've had some oh, cold, tea. Like cold tea. I have to apologize for any of my elderly family members who have chimed in at the wrong time. <laughs> I don't apologize for anything. What's ever. funny is my um, a lot of my friends too that I see me in real life and they don't know anything about this. <laughs> whole life. Like, Thanks for sticking by. Sometimes this the was guys the... get a little weird and crazy. All right, this it's was... all them. It's not even me. It was one of the tamest. It was one of the tamest choices that I was going to go with. <laughs> yeah. This was a really tame choice. 
And I think it's that's exciting. Also educational because I didn't know there was a thing. I didn't know that happened. I'm sorry that happens to you guys. Yeah. I know with poops, there's yeah. stuff like that. Like the ghost poo is when you feel a poo and then you don't see it when you you know get up. Yeah, that's <laughs> a, a ghost poo. poo? Yeah, ghost poo. Yeah, it's a ghost poo. Oh, you took you take like a this deepest a shit. Phantom ever, poo. And it doesn't happen. Or the crayon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I feel like fuck oh, the crayon. What is a crayon? Yeah, and it doesn't stop. And then we don't like, call that the crayon. We call it the marker. <laughs> oh yeah, the marker. That's what I heard. It's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, it's the same thing. It's the exact I same guess thing. If it's a lot, it's a you just keep wiping, and it just—it's like, it's like the Energizer Bunny. It just that's keeps going. <laughs> Jump in the shower. Wipe your ass. In the shower. You guys need a bidet. I thought you guys were somewhat French out there. Uh, we're not that French. Don't Just go get a garden hose. We're the West Coast. Understand. I'm way West Coast, homie. Homie, we are the West Coast of Canada. Okay. True. No French here. West Coast. Ain't no French up in here. Fuck the French. No, really. The French are okay. cute. So that's gross. Thanks for teaching me about that. <laughs> Let's move it along here, guys. Yeah, that, that, went deep. Oh, that was enjoyable. I'm glad I know about that now. That went deeper than toilet water. I think we should get nerdy with Neil. Uh, nerdy news of the day. I have like three news. Hey. news from the sort hey. of pertain to us here. Lay it on me. All right. Put your face closer in that microphone there, Nelios. Get up in that mic. So get up in the mic. So um biggest news of the day is Justice League's Zack oh, Snyder cut. That's totally fuck yes. 2021. Way. So the studio Shut the estimates fuck up. that it will cost them about thirty to forty million <laughs> to do. Yeah. And they're on the fence about having it released as a four hour movie or a six part mini series. Yeah, six I'm glad either way. Six part I don't even give a shit. Yeah. Give me a four hour movie. I'll give just me do a it. series. I'm down. It yeah. doesn't matter. If it's a six hour mini series, everyone's gonna sit right through that and binge it anyway. So Yes. Yeah. Why not why not make it a six hour mini series and you get that extra two hours? Exactly. Please. But either way yes, that's either way. all I wanted you to do, Neil. <laughs> I wanted you to do that so bad. Do it again. <laughs> was he blowing sorry, his sorry. was he blowing his stick there's this thing yeah i know he's and blowing it looks his stick. like it it's gonna looks go. like he's gonna blow his stick <laughs> uh, 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 a coke and a pancake okay i'm sorry we got a little left to do there so sorry very so stoked. the next news i think a bunch of us are hold on a second let's let's not move on from the Zack snyder cut i got something to say no talk about it I'm not done. Right. I'm, I'm very stoked. Yeah. Very. Uh, because I really enjoy the uh, the Man of Steel movie and Batman v Superman. Of how grown up and dark it is. You know, everyone's like, oh, it's too dark and stupid. And like, no. It's, uh, I feel like it's very realistic, you know, in the well, attitudes of the characters and shit and the, t the tone of the movies, right? At least for um, Batman v Superman and some parts of Justice League, yeah. it was too dark, like physically to see. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so, definitely. So, so, like, uh, <laughs> Man of Steel as what well. What the hell is going yeah. on? <laughs> but but you can, I can tell, at least in some of the scenes in Justice League where Joss Whedon took over and he made he ramped up the brightness yeah and he was really see, cartoony yeah it was very bright and cartoony and some of the some of the uh, sets were kind of uh, it was it was it was like it was like when we had tim burton no longer directing batman yeah oh no when joel schumacher oh. took over he just when, fucked it up he straight <laughs> bent it over spread that asshole and <laughs> fucked yeah. it raw yeah. no With his tongue. no spit and burnt that asshole. Yeah, and his jizz was neon. <laughs> Straight. Wow. Somebody's been what? sipping the Red Bull. Fluorescent right. lights and shit. Just fucking come on. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like this will be good for everybody because, you know, it gives the. If, even if you like Justice League, I'm sure you were left wanting more, like, thinking, like, I like it, but it feels like it's incomplete. Yeah, yeah. but it's also going to give the whole, like, the dark Gotham feel to what should be mm. yeah. a Gotham Batman feel. Dealing with trying to find his humanity again, struggling to find his humanity, 
but they didn't focus enough on that in Justice League. They got no. like campy and kind of lighthearted, you know. I, and I they got really cute. I and... really felt like Batman was just there to bring everybody together, but when they're fighting, um, what's his face? He's just like, I'm just gonna let you guys do the rest <laughs> of this here because I can't like punch him or anything. I can't do anything because I'm human being. <laughs> yeah. I don't have real superhero powers, so let's just stand back and watch you guys kick their ass. But, like, I, I, know that, I can picture my face on that one. I know that initially they were thinking of doing it in two parts before the movie came out and before, like, you know, Joss Whedon had to step in. Um, but even if it's a four hour movie, like, that's still like another hour and a half of scenes that we didn't get, get. in the, in the exactly. final cut. Exactly. Right. And I'm super, 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 super excited. Yeah. Super duper. Super. <laughs> the last superhero show that I watched was Watchmen. Yep. It was on HBO and it yep. was really well done. Your mouth right on the top of it. Yeah. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Right up there. Oh, sir. <laughs> put your pop filter right on the microphone and then put your mouth on the pop filter. There you go. And then we want to feel your lips. Yeah, we feel your on the pop filter. Oh, sir. Put your lips against mine. There you go. <laughs> it's like right there, stop. Our lips on Don't move. Okay. So, what's next on your list there? All yes. right, so next is actually news that they are going to be uh, remaking or re- remastering maybe Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Ooh, 1 and 2. Yeah. 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 So like, I, this is really big because to me a lot of the music that was on it shaped like the type of music that I listen to today. Yeah. Oh. On top of it being a really fun game. True. Yeah, oh. A lot of people learned about a lot of different uh, music and bands because of that game. I feel. Yeah, it, I, I, I am. Yeah, I, I, I completely sure. agree Especially with that. Later games, they mixed up, they mixed and mashed a lot of uh, different genres. Yeah. In the beginning, it was predominantly punk rock. Yeah. And then, and then they explored a little bit more. Yeah. I, I get I, deeper I, into the music labyrinth. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Then that was like a. Thing that was really consistent with all their games, like even not even just like Pro Skater, but like Tony Hawk's uh, American Wasteland and Tony Hawk's Underground, they were all really good games. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited to see like what they're um, gonna bring with it. Yeah, especially with the next gen like, graphics graphics and everything, it's gonna look real nice. It's yeah. gonna be pretty sick. I agree, super sick. Super sick. And uh, the one thing they couldn't do is they couldn't get the licensing to all the songs on part one and two, so they're going to probably replace them, which kind of sucks. A little bit. Hey, we still have the original fucking CDs and shit. Yeah. There you go. That's right. But they might also update it with, like, some new songs. Oh, definitely. That'll, like, match the tone and feel of the game. And I don't know if anybody noticed that played Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, the first one, but the songs on there were only, like, a minute long. Mm-hmm. Like they yeah. never play the whole song. Yeah. No. Because the, your session was only a minute. Yeah. yeah. So it'll be nice to get the full songs. Full song would be nice. Yeah. Sorry, uh, I got the drum kick ups. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. You guys want to talk about funny things? Yes. All right, here we go. Some All weird right. shit? I think so. Yeah. A little bit. Definitely. <laughs> are we going to do Are we gonna do some Shantaeism? I think it's time. Is it time? Yeah, is it time? It is. Shantaeism <laughs> time. Shantaeism. <laughs> So for those that get on the ism. Lighten them on shantaisms. What the, what this is. I like is. to talk about weird shit that makes Let's, me think. There you go. Or what like, is a shantaism? Something comes up and I'm like, what? Or like, for instance, one time I was taking Wicket for a walk, and this is a backstory. I felt like really sad for him because it was cold and he was like staring at me while we we're walking. He was taking a, a poop. And his little buns had probably so cold, and I just thought, like, maybe I should just like poop next to him, <laughs> so he doesn't feel embarrassed. That's a shantaism. But I didn't, of course, I didn't, you know. But these are. Well, I wasn't sure. Like, I was waiting patiently for the rest of the story before I thought. <laughs> I felt like just so sad for his weird, you know, sad little cold He's self. Weird. His little starfish was frozen solid. I was like, I feel like, you know. 
I should Let's help join him out. In. Yeah, just so he wouldn't be so vulnerable. He would probably be like, okay, now I gotta fucking watch out because we're both shitting, like. I might as well pull my pants down and shit about, with them. I think about weird random things all the time. <laughs> so I like to, at this time, share these random things. Sometimes all I right. find articles that, like, blow my mind hole. And then I have to, like, talk about them. And so this is one of those times where I'm going to bring up some weird shit and we're going to talk about it. And these are known as? Shantaism. Thank yes. you. Beautiful. And it's funny because other people will come up with these things and they'll be like, dude, I totally thought of a Shantaism today. And so if you do those, just share them. I love hearing Share them. I like Please. knowing there's a bunch of other weirdos out there like me. <laughs> oh, a little weird. Oh, yeah. So, and then. No, no, she's a lot uh, weird, though. In that um, piece, too, is, um, I, I read these different things and I hear these funny things and I like to share the ones that I thought that were funny, too. And one of them was because we're all like trying to lose weight and exercise and um, <laughs> find out what things exercise. can burn more calories and stuff. Did you guys know? Did you know that banging your head against the wall multiple times repeatedly burns? At least 150 calories. Wow. You gotta incorporate that in the bedroom then. Yes. Well, there you go. So, <laughs> if you're getting banged and your head's getting banged on the wall, that's an extra 150 calories, guys. Well, so let's tie that together. Bang their head against the wall. <laughs> so, let's tie that together. I mean, if you want to tie that into your fitness routine, there you go, guys. There we right. go. And another one I thought was really funny. We we're talking about laws, you know, with all the different countries and the different states doing different weird shit and how the most random things are illegal and they're like so old these laws one of them oh, is, i love it one of them in switzerland it's illegal to own only one guinea pig so if you if your kid's like i want a pet and you go to the if you go to the pet store you cannot buy a one guinea pig you have to buy lonely? two at least. yes they do i have two guinea pigs and you guys are lucky that i'm upstairs in my little art studio when i grew up we always had we always had a pair of guinea pigs we never had a single guinea pig here's a funny thing about guinea pigs since we're on the topic they of <laughs> they're delicious <laughs> okay no 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 not 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 only are they delicious but they're 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 sarah, hey, sarah oh, don't die right? don't die on us. i got popcorn down the wrong too <laughs> i really did Fuck off, you guys. I'm fine. Oh, Thanks for asking. Chug your too much gin. <laughs> too much gin. <clears throat> I've already got red cheeks. Just burn it down. Burn it down. Take it down. All right. All right since we're talking about Take since we're talking about guinea pigs. Okay. All right. They do have cute bangs. They do. Yeah. But there are <laughs> they're, they're, they are delicious as well yeah. in certain yeah. parts of the <laughs> You've really I've eaten guinea world. pigs? No, I don't know. No, he's never but, done that. But but <laughs> there are guinea pigs that come furless. Are you talking about? <coughs> They're called skinny pigs. Skinny pigs. <laughs> and the they look. They look like. Rats. They, they look. look like, <coughs> they look like hippos. house hippos. They're adorable. <laughs> They're like this That's big. So cute. They're like this big. That's right. They do. Yeah. They look like. And they're very people. prickly. They're not soft. My no, my kids' teacher they look had one. Really fucking cute. Like a ball. So cute. They look like, like a, house. Like here. a ball sack. Ball sack with feet. That's right. Oh. And little a little meaty eyes. So I cute. like a ball sack with feet. <laughs> I love that. Just pop it out of your pocket, like, oh, here's the mouse. They're little bears. Yeah. Don't they look? They're like super saggy skin. They look they're like big rats. Like they have they rats. Like giant rats. They are scary as fuck. Bears. Oh, MG. Yeah, they look evil. And yeah, then, look. okay, so last one, guys, and I think it's really funny is that, um, did you guys know that if you hold a kangaroo's tail off the ground, they can't jump? Oh, yeah. They can't hop. Uh, like, wow. Their tail is on the ground. It gives them their hop. So the if, they, if you momentum. hold on to a kangaroo's tail, it can't hop. So if but it could punch you in the fucking face. That's what I was going to say. So <coughs> you never have one to one with a kangaroo and he's trying to box, just grab his fucking tail. <coughs> box the okay. kick, man. Yeah. But no, they box with their no, little no, arms no, and not their tails. No, they no, kick no, arms. They kick. No. And they little T Rex arms, they box the shit out of you. They have like they have like six pack abs. No, Dude, they will kill. Kill. Oh, they're yoked as fuck. That's what I was saying. Bro, so bro. if I was to get into a fight with a kangaroo, what would I do? And guess what? I found out that if you grab its tail, it can't hop. But I knew an Australian you. once. I, I knew bet, an Australian once. I bet if you <coughs> I knew a lot of not Australians only could he not jump, times. shout out to Nicole Kidman. 
and then he'd be super down. That's a, that involves you trying to get behind. But him. I knew an Australian you one. Do it. You do I knew it. an Australian one. So if you're in it, you gotta get. <coughs> Sorry, goddamn. I knew an Australian once. Okay. What this Australian told me was what? That's not was that a knife. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a dick. You wrecked it. <laughs> this is a dick. Stop it. No. He told me once. He told me once. Because everybody's like, oh, look at those kangaroos. Oh, look at oh. Look at, like, fuck those oh. Guys. And he was like straight up, fuck those fucking kangaroos. <laughs> with his with his Australian, I would do an Australian accent right now, but I need to hear it before I do it. Oh. So I'm not gonna do it. So he told me <laughs> that <laughs> kangaroos are like fucking <clears throat> rats in Australia. <laughs> Hey, Chris, stick your tongue out right now. Don't move. Just stick your tongue out. <laughs> what is happening here? It looks weird. It's no. inappropriate. <laughs> an asshole? Nice. So basically, in, in Australia, there's giant fighting rats everywhere. Yes. And he straight up told me that they, they have a season where they just annihilate fucking kangaroos. Just because there are so many fucking the kangaroos. Fuck? They should have just <clears throat> been oh, yeah. and it would have been fine. Well, where is their butthole? Under their tail, duh. Well, I know, but that's a big ass tail. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> Grab them under the tail and kick in the bunghole. So you lift it up and then you gotta look for the, for the butthole. I mean, if you want. And then you kick it. You like really that. want to. What if it's a really butthole? big okay. butthole and your shoe General gets stuck? Direction for a butthole. That's right. <laughs> they don't have cooters. Oh, they do. And then the babies crawl up and get in the pouch. Yeah, they it looks they're like they're not you're... like born <laughs> into the pocket. Yeah. Hey, can I ask you something? Do you do? <laughs> Does anybody know what the inside of a kangaroo's pouch looks like? I feel like yeah, it's... like a like a womb. Like a womb. It's like a sleeping bag. It's like a microfiber sleeping bag. With veins. Like a I think shag it, I think it looks carpet. Like, I think it looks like a I look I think it looks like a skin bag. He look like a man bag. It looks like, like a, a it looks like the nut bag. <laughs> it and looks like, like a folded inside out. Pig. <laughs> so if you had a nut, <clears throat> you just like fold it a little bit. And you put like peas in there. That's what a that's what it would look like. Like a pot pie. <laughs> yeah, I bet it is like a pot pie, like cozy, uh, like. A pot pie. <laughs> I wonder if it tastes like a pot pie. It probably smells like a pot pie. I know. I'm like, stop looking at me. <laughs> okay, so um, kangaroos, good times, right? Uh, that's educational. Hey, did you hear about that man that punched a kangaroo for his dog? I was like, what a hero! I watched the video. video. Yeah, there was a video on there. <laughs> and he like he locked up with that motherfucker. Punched him in the fucking mouth. That, that kangaroo was like. And he didn't even touch his tail. <laughs> he like stopped doing whatever the fuck he was doing. He was like that man. <laughs> didn't he beat See? his ass? He like slammed him on a table or some shit. Kangaroos like, think they're no, so bad, right? And then that guy punched that guy that one, and then he was like, "Oh, fucking <laughs> that kangaroo was like, I'm just walking here." That guy was like, "Not because he's like Kyle. a rat." Because you know that kangaroo. You try to eat my dog. Because <laughs> he's like a rat. Oh my god! I'm you guys, this whole time. Something has been messing with my foot. It's been my cat. There's a kitty in there. Dude, <laughs> yeah. Sarah, you're cute. Holy I got a pussy. Actually, he's really small. You should see Elvis. He's like, he's a mango. You have a small pussy and a big pussy? That's impressive. So, Elvis. Um, a fun thing, Sarah. Do you want to <laughs> talk about something special with us? Actually, okay. It's my first time. I'm a virgin, so be nice. And uh, Sarah's segment is called What the F Were They Thinking? Oh, shit. All right. Oh, shit. Well, I mean, I was <clears throat> I was put under a lot of pressure, y'all, so be nice. No, but no pressure. I had like an hour to pressure. find something. And in my head, I was like, oh, I could go through like Trump's stuff. I mean, no that's offense to the Republicans wrong. out there. That's like, that's like a little... But there was just so much. That's like little growing fruit. Yeah, yeah. But then I was like, oh, but you know, the most recent thing is murder hornets. Murder hornets. Death hornets, death bees. Wasps. 
<clears throat> so Death I remember my oldest kid coming in like mom look at this oh my god this guy's like getting stung by this murder hornet and it was like maybe a couple years ago but it just resurfaced what and so I have the video YouTube guy uh huh yeah no it's like it's it's a dude and um oh god he's 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 retarded obviously Coyote yeah. Peterson yeah. <clears throat> And here is this jackass. I don't know if you could see it. I like fast forwarded it a little bit. Here's the news lady. Everybody say hi, news lady. So he's applying the murder hornet to his arm. Right. And then right. the son of a bitch is stung. By, like, why? I, I just don't understand. YouTuber. He's a YouTuber. Why the F? Yes, okay. <clears throat> that being said. He's insane. We Why watching, the fuck would you do that? We were watching a but could you imagine the amount of pain that this asshole had to go through for a couple hundred views, like, or even a thousand? I get that they're paid for it, including that little kid Ryan's Toys review. Bro, his first year he made eleven million dollars. Yeah, he's a millionaire. Yeah, <laughs> I'm actually Ryan extremely upset about that. That so, I was like, so my kids are way cuter than that. So is Caleb. And so is that C C Y C K Y kid? I don't know. Oh, the Jojo Siwa? No, he's a he's a, he's a cute, <laughs> he's a cute little like British Asian kid. I don't know. But my kids, my kids watch all of these guys, right? <laughs> but the guy you, you're talking about, the guy that you're talking about, he gets paid a lot of fucking money yeah. to get fucking stung and bit by shit. Okay, so let me ask you guys then: How much would they have to pay you to get stung by a murder hornet? All right, he got stung by died. worse than oh, a murder oh, hornet in the world. I have okay, we're talking about murder hornets, Chris. Shut up. I'm sorry. And here's I just a clip. I know, I know, the, I know the guy. And the funny thing about the, this situation, yeah, he got stung by the murder hornet. I don't know how much he got paid for it, but I know the guy was talking about the whole situation, and he said we have nothing to fucking worry about. Right. I don't care. It just hurts. Like, why would you? <laughs> What oh, the, why? What why? I know, I know. Are you <clears throat> oh, he's what not... the F were they thinking? Like, what was he thinking? It's like, okay, he... okay. So it's, 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 it's the same situation with those people who figure out how many Scovilles are in fucking peppers. True. Actually, you can kind of detect it's that the with the chemical substance. It's the exact same situation. It's saving everybody else from being like, I wonder how they I feel. How I wonder how, how painful this down. is. He's yes. like, here. Oh, this is how it feels. Don't get stung by this. Avoid this of, at all costs. Yeah. Because this Could hurts. you imagine <clears throat> in the cave people days when we didn't have internet and we couldn't see jackasses do jackass shit? Exactly. And like, it, out it out. was just everybody kind of found out for themselves. Like, my I'm grandma died fun. of a coyote. Uh, I got bit by a coyote once. It hurt a lot. <laughs> I'm just and I don't have a leg anymore. Now. Like okay. gangrene and infections, bacteria, all that shit. Exactly. I also have one more uh, very, I guess, lewd. What the fuck were they thinking? Go ahead. Maybe, maybe two more. I'm not sure. Okay, so I read a couple of years ago. It was like one of the Darwin Awards that this guy died. A Darwin Award. Of a massive heart attack. Yeah, oh yeah, Darwin Awards, amazing. Fucking love and. It. What he was doing was he had gotten a cow heart. And if you're squeamish, please turn off the video now. But he attached it to a car battery to where it was beating as hard to do. And then he proceeded to have intercourse with the heart with this cow heart, but it wasn't going hard enough. You can Google it, it's totally true. So then he later plugged it into a fucking wall socket <laughs> and as he's doing his thing you know stuff kind of gets oh, kind of squishy in there you know the thing with electricity is it really likes wet stuff so he went out with a bang needless to say um <laughs> he did die they found him did. a couple of days later. I think he was high on meth. Not sure. But what the fuck was he thinking? And that goes back to, like, why men are so, I need, you know, the JJ sex, whatever. Why? Stop it. You're fine. You got a hand. You don't need to do that. 
exactly. Go get a cow heart. You're fine. Don't punch. All right, no, a cow heart. Like, would you look at an animal and be like, huh. you know? Well, they have other holes. They have holes. So, <laughs> so this is my first. What the fuck were they thinking? I haven't seen a, a lady in a long time. Look, it's a hole. <laughs> There's a hand. Hey, oh. hey, this is 2020. For those guys who are single, sorry, Neil. There's you know, they may get a little creative. So Bro, I guess. So many toys. You do not online, need a guys. fucking cow heart. <laughs> you know, the fact that you have to say that in real life. <laughs> That's right. right. Sit on your hands okay. for a while and it could be a stranger. Yeah, the stranger. Or you could do like, okay, but, but how, like, have you guys ever gotten that? creative you, you know what i mean like <laughs> not at another animal's expense but <laughs> <laughs> right, sir, so you're talking about okay so the guy died because he fucking way oh he stuck his dick in an electric socket pretty much wow was that the was that the second one do you have another one? Oh well my other one is kind of like because of the whole covid thing <laughs> yeah haha -ha. But what the fuck was Trump thinking or his doctor about taking this? I can't even pronounce it. I'm not going to try to because I've had like four of these and it's a lot of gin. Um, but the, the drug, <laughs> the drug in question, mahahaha, whatever the fuck, Hawaii, Luau, it is for malaria. And yeah. malaria is a parasite that attaches itself to your cells. Like, I can't even, like, I don't, like, I can see how it would reverse some of your body's, like, bacteria. Bacteria, you kill it because you can damage its cell wall. Viruses do not have a cell wall. They literally think and adapt and do their thing. So, this drug is an immunosuppressant. And I know that nobody's doctor, I'm surely the left end of doctorism, but... Your immune system is the only thing standing between you and like, well, death. <clears throat> so to suppress that in a pandemic just really doesn't like, what the fuck are they thinking? I really don't see any kind of benefit to that. I'm going to weaken my immune system. I have somebody in my very close family who's battling cancer right now. And this person is a heart transplant. Hi, if you're watching. <laughs> and, uh, his heart, his cardiologist and his, you know, cancer people were not talking. So he was on cycle, well, not cyclosporin, but he was at one time when we were kids, <clears throat> but he was on two different immunosuppressants. And then with the chemotherapy, that is an immunosuppressant as well. So he had literally no Im immune system with all this COVID shit going on. So he had an infection in his lungs. He had an infection in his bowels and stuff. Luckily, he he made it out. He's strong. He's doing very well. <clears throat> uh, he's God. literally Captain America right now with our family. But for him to to battle that with no immune system, like, and then you have Trump who will not wear a mask. I don't give a fuck if it's literally like see through. If somebody hawks a loogie or a snot rocket at you, it's gonna you know give you some kind of protection because. This is how the virus makes it into our bodies, touching our eyes, our nose, our mouth. This can, is why people so, are not medical professionals should not be him? suggesting <laughs> or saying anything. Even if it's please. like, oh, well, what if anybody, they did this? Anybody with COVID. Every, there's people out there that think that the president AIDS. is like the end-all be-all about freaking U.S. citizens. They think Herbie that you know, people are going to be like, oh, yeah, maybe we should try that. So there's stuff that he suggested and people are like, he didn't say to do it. He was just asking questions and I'm like, he shouldn't be saying Oh, that, I actually watched that. Like I went and Googled it because I'm like, well, I don't want to sound like a dumbass talking about it. And that is exactly what he said. He said he would like something like a disinfectant to be injected. He wasn't saying bleach or any brand names like that, yeah. but he's like, I'm not a doctor. So I don't know. And it's like, okay, you're not. But for me, it's no, just, you know, I was born... I was born, we all were born at a very different time. And, you know, I'm an American and Trump is my president because I live here, you know, regardless of whatever background is there. So if I have some Trump watchers on right now, take no offense. 
Um, he did say that that is not what he meant. He was just saying, like, is there anything we can inject in our body to disinfect? Now, what he doesn't understand is that there's a lot of bacteria that will be harmed, good bacteria, if you if you inject a disinfectant. In fact, there's something called C. diff, which my nurses out there, I could not imagine what you guys are going through right now. And what C. diff is, is it's just horrible, horrible, horrible bacterial infection in your intestines. And a lot of the time, how they fix that is they take somebody else's poop with good bacteria and put it in your colon. Yep. Yeah. So, I to me, what was he thinking? <clears throat> I don't think Trump is a, okay. as stupid as he comes off as because he's the president. He got there somehow. He's a millionaire. Like that just doesn't happen to people who doesn't have any you know thought process. So. But I mean, I have a well, very, very. We had, we had Ronald Reagan as a president. You also had Nixon as a president. You yes. Several fucking people who are presidents who really don't. Several Bushes. Yeah. yeah. You had a Bush and a Bush. A Bush all the Bushes. And look at Clinton, though. I mean, everybody's like, oh, Clinton actually did fairly well for the economy, but, you know, he liked to fuck a couple bitches. At least it wasn't a cow heart. Your president is. I don't think it matters. What there's an agenda there's an agenda that may, needed to be met and they met the agenda I think if anybody you're right i agree been a problem because what happens is media changes everything so it could have been yep. like he didn't say that or he suggested it or he was just asking a question because you know why not ask the questions the problem is the right person up there wouldn't be asking those questions in a public Any forum like forum. that because media does whatever right. they want. Yeah. And what happened? And they will misconstrue whatever they can. Here's the, forward, here's the thing. And not only did, are there people in hospitals who did try that, um, like right after he did that, and that's the problem. Mm. Here's I the have a very close friend. This is what fucks with me. Hold on one second. I have a very close friend who's pregnant with a baby girl. Love you. Um, I hope she's watching now. But her... Family members suggested that she took the drug, which which Trump is taking for the past week or so, um, and they don't have any evidence as to what it does to unborn babies, but she literally tried to hand it to her. And for me, people who believe so wholeheartedly in this, which has zero fucking evidence, like that scares me. There are people who are like anti-vaxxers. I actually see their side of the story there are some shit in our vaccines that can trigger something for each individual, but for somebody to have literally zero evidence of this being medically sound and offering it to other people, it's like, it's the sheep, it's the blind leading the blind. So again, like, what the fuck are they thinking? Exactly. I, I just, exactly, yeah. exactly. exactly. All right. it, it's a very scary time right now. I have a very difficult time listening to you talk about Trump and, you know, looking at him as a... From far away. Yes. Because, mm -hmm. because I'm an intelligent person. And looking at you as an intelligent... Uh, uh, looking at you as an intelligent person, talking about Trump as your president, being a person who's just expressing his ideas idea it's a wrong Very idea but it's there yeah. thing for me to sit here and be like no you like absolutely not absolutely absolutely right now. <laughs> not so here's christopher's rant to the day oh we're going straight into here we go. trump <laughs> Ooh, here we go can we get it off my face because that's like literally I all i see president i don't care if he's <laughs> An intelligent fucking person. He's saying a really fucking stupid shit. Oh, for sure. I wouldn't even platform. call him intelligent, Chris. No, he's not. Yeah, I didn't say you were saying he's intelligent. What I'm saying is he's saying really unintelligent shit on a platform for a person who is in charge of an entire country. Yeah. People. For all the idiots that will follow him and do those things that that's my thing is what was he thinking people follow him blindly and it's scary and it's very yeah. scary and it's not very even scary just, it's dangerous it's not even just him we have an unintelligent fucking president uh prime minister he says some mm -hmm. really fucking ridiculous shit as well because 
Moistly. <laughs> Shante. Exactly. Exactly. Not, exactly clearly, he's an idiot. Moist. Yeah. It, 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 it just, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just really sorry. It hurts my fucking brain. It hurts. It's my okay. Brain. But can because, I say something for a second here? Because don't they, these guys have uh, like speech writers that help them oh, with they, this shit all the time? Oh, oh most definitely. Trump, Trump doesn't use them though. I, I really believe that pre uh, President Trump, President Trump, he doesn't use them. Doesn't use him. No. Ever. Mm -hmm. They don't. He's been walking off stage, by the way. Oh, my God. Yeah. He's he's and he's not using a mask. I don't know. Like, there's been several cabinet members that have been confirmed COVID positive. Yeah. So, uh, for, this for, whole situation, this whole president situation that you have in your country has been an entire fucking joke. See, yeah, for I as agree. much of an it's idiot a, it's been Trudeau a has farce. been, if you look at his press conferences versus Trump's least, press conferences, yes, at, yes, least at least everybody there is social distancing. You yes. don't see that. Yes, um, at least he's practicing. They're all shoulder to shoulder in the background. I know. At least he's practicing. Yeah. At least he's just fumbling his fucking words with our prime yeah. minister. Trump is a fucking moron. Yeah. That being said, you guys, because of this whole COVID, Trump's polls have been shot down. Now we're gonna get stuck with Biden. I'm sure, like you know, the guy doesn't remember what happened. He's just people there. That being said, if if this COVID shit didn't happen, Trump would have been reelected. Silver lining. Mm, I, don't I think we would have had Bernie. I think. I think, I think we no, I had, don't because I we would have had Bernie. as much as I wanted Bernie, as much as I stood behind Bernie Sanders, I will feel the burn for the rest of my life. He's an elderly man. I hate to say it, but he dropped out of the race because it just, I think, became too great, or maybe he got paid off. I don't really know. Because but it stands. I'm more think, afraid think, of universal health care than they are of four more years of Trump. That's what happened there. Yeah. So you know Honestly, what? though, I see what you guys do. I've talked to Malcolm with his recent surgery, and and everybody pays a flat fee. Like that sounds awesome to us. I took my my middle son to the urgent care, no emergency room, and I had to pay $150 for the emergency room. That's because insure and then insurance circled back and was like, well, he wasn't admitted. So now you have to pay a thousand dollars. And I bought it. And thankfully I, I was able to get it through because I was like, well, he's little. So fuck you here. I mean, if you have health care, if you have like IEHP or Medi-Cal, you, they pay for everything. You don't have to pay shit, but it sucks because that other shit that is paid is paid from the taxpayers, the people. So it's like more on them, you know, when they have to pay premiums of six, seven hundred dollars a month. I think I think if it was an understanding from the very get go. Mm -hmm. The problem is, is that this isn't a shock to you guys. This isn't a shock. Yeah. This isn't a shock to Europeans. This isn't a shock to Britons. Because all right, here's the thing. You go to the hospital in in in, in Britain. You get paid mm -hmm. when you leave the hospital for missing work. You pay okay. one time amount for your prescriptions. Okay. You have to get prescriptions. Doesn't matter what the, the same there with you guys? It no no. This is in Great Britain. So in Great okay. Britain, you, you get a prescription and it doesn't matter what the prescription is, but you pay a hundred dollars, a hundred pounds. Right? Mm -hmm. So let's say you are suffering from HIV and you have to get the plethora amount of fucking drugs that mm -hmm. coincide with coping with HIV treatment, mm -hmm. right? In the United States, you're paying you're paying a ridiculous amount, ridiculous oh, yeah. amount. But in Great Britain, you're paying a hundred dollars for every single drug that you're getting, or Let's say you need to take plan B, which is a very small amount of money that you have to pay out front. You have to pay hundred dollars for that. Right? So there are there are there are losses and cuts that you have to take, but they've been doing it for a while. Like Canada, we've been doing it for a fucking long time. So we understand that our taxes are a little bit higher, but we do have a better fucking system in place. 
we do so have, let me ask you we do have an insurance system that isn't fucking raping us where i go to the hospital and it's not costing me 50 fucking thousand dollars just because i took an ambulance just because i got stupid one night and got really fucking drunk almost died but they pumped my stomach and i survived but i'm not paying a hundred thousand dollars for that you're right for one motor i think it's like eight hundred dollars it's like outlandish oh my, oh my god it's outlandish it, it well i when i had um this is what i'm saying about this is what i'm saying about a social understanding for health care you're right i couldn't agree more there, there are certain there but are what certain... is your tax rate right now like in california i think we have almost a nine percent Okay, we're only we're only oh, we're at twelve. 12. Yeah, to total. Wow, that's 12, not. 12. I mean, that's a big jump, but it's not a ridiculous yeah. jump. Okay. Well, how much is a gallon of milk there? A gallon of oh, milk. Here, here. Okay. Just under five dollars, like four something. Yeah, I mean, it depends on what milk you get, but normally it's like three, four here. See? Um, what about gas? Gas, that's a big difference. But your you but your 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 dollar is 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 higher. It's more. Your dollar Our is seventy five percent. But your dollar your right dollar now. is entirely a representative of 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 of, of oil. Yeah. True. Right. Very we, true. You are no longer a part of the whole gold situation. You're about fucking. Nope. You're about oil. It's up and down. Mm -hmm. Every day. So. so the thing is, the thing is, is that we've 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 accepted what we have as twelve percent. At one point in time, we were at fourteen percent, and then okay, that's the like a, a yeah. And we in British Columbia, we are the highest too. Wow. So, so social. The thing is, the thing is, is yes, you're gonna take a big bite, and you're gonna take yep. a big bite in your taxes when it com comes to healthcare. But you should take a big bite when it comes to health. Because that's important. Health if you don't have your health, you don't have anything. So fucking yeah. important. Education, healthcare, they're the most fucking important thing that we live by. Because I if agree. we don't have an education and we don't have a healthcare, nothing. Who are matters. you? You're nothing. Yeah. And then I, I once talked to somebody and, and he said, if my family was taken care of, and I had to pay a little bit more to make sure that my neighbor was taken care of or that somebody who had less than or was down on their luck, he's, I, I would. And to be honest with you, if my family, if my three sons have exactly what they mean, need, I don't need to live outside of my means. You know what I mean? Like, as somebody who, who does a lot of art a lot of the time that can get expensive with paints and, and materials, but that's nothing. If I had to give all of this up, everything that is in this room to make sure that my sons and my best friend had her baby smoothly and had everything that she needed, it would be no question. I could go fucking draw in the dirt or with chalk. You know what I mean? Like for me as an American, it's just, it's how it's always been. And so for us change, I think is the scariest part. And it's because it's such a big leap that it's everybody's, you know, up in arms. I think if they just did it and said, hey, you owe this much, people will be fine. <laughs> but it's, not, it's not even that, though. It's not even the leap. The, the, what, what, what has been instilled in your minds has been yeah. instilled in your minds since the beginning of time, since mm -hmm. the inception of the United States. We all need to pay for our own. Mm -hmm. Poor, poor, you know, if you don't work and if you don't, you know, have a great job and you don't work hard, then you don't deserve exactly. the baseline of healthcare. And that I think, well, it's somebody else, actually, else? a buddy of mine, Logan, I posted on Facebook, what do you think is going to happen outside of this COVID pandemic? And he's like, well, I hope shit doesn't go back to the way it's supposed to be because there's a whole lot of shit that could change for the better. And I could not have said it better myself. There's a whole bunch of shit that needs to change. And if you're one of the Americans out there that thinks that we do not need to change shit, maybe you should take another look at your family at your, you know, how you're doing in the pandemic. You know, let's hear from the people here in America and they're in Canada. Like, could you imagine being in the other person's shoes right now? Yep. I have been in the other person's shoes. Right now. Yes, exactly. You and Shantae are prime I guess real estate holders because you have been on either side of the fence. I, I, 
been in the other person's shoes where I've been put the bill that is ridiculously way too fucking much for mm -hmm. what we got. And it's just so sad that people are willing to choke it down without change. Yeah, I want to talk about. I want to talk about the stuff we dig. I don't want to talk about any more about. Okay. What we dig. Yes, let's change our mood. Wonderful. I'm ready to wrap it up with what we have been digging on lately. I want to talk about the fun shit that has been keeping us happy. All right. All right. And I'm gonna start off. Everybody around this bitch has been running around, ding dong, ditching each other, <laughs> leaving alcohol, and weed, and that's boys. so boys cute. Oh my God, yes. So, like, it's amazing. Everyone's just like leaving shit for strangers, yes. running around, leaving, yes. ding dong, ditching, leaving things on people's porches, it's and it's so Dude, much fun. So cool. It's gotten to the just point where people are not only doing it like crazy, having fun and being sneaky, but they're wearing costumes and they're making yes. TikTok videos while they're doing it. The fairies, I saw that. So I got, cute. I got wine ninja and I got, got a can of fairies. So it's yes. called dusting. And it's funny because my friends was like, I'm going to dust a bunch of people this week. I'm like, it sounds violent. <laughs> <laughs> like crop dusting? Yeah. For, for men, it's a whiskey wizard. And whiskey, whiskey wizard. Hey, I got an That's idea. so cute. I got an idea here. Um, before you continue, I want to hear the rest of your, your dig this. But let's say I'm going around the table and everyone's digging. And then after you tell them what you're digging, you tell them what your favorite uh, alcoholic beverage is. Uh -huh. And hopefully that's some of the wine ninjas. And somebody can okay, so yeah, be listening. If, if yeah, right. Yeah. All right. If you guys are listening, yeah. Okay, so uh, that's what I've been digging. And then my favorite is basically um, anything that's a gin or vodka drink. And then um, for a can of fairies, we're edibles and oils. That's yes. our thing. That we don't smoke weed. No. We don't, you know, we like to eat it or... or uh, I would I would love to Something experiment like that. that direction, but it's just it's just a little <laughs> too much when we have children. Girl, let me tell you true, true, very, very true. Stuff like that, that's it's really just awesome. a little too much when We're I have kids. If times. I didn't, or at nighttime maybe a little bit, maybe yeah, a little I'll tell you bit. Right true. Now, is you can vape and it's not gonna it's not gonna hurt anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Right, vaping is safe. It's 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 not. Uh, it's not gonna stink. Oh, do you have like a wax pen? Oh, you gonna make, and then I'm talking about two extreme. And decap. <laughs> such a good move here. Yeah. That's okay. delicious. Okay, you know, okay, it's, okay. It's enhancement. Start off okay. as an enhancement smoker. Mm -hmm. All right. It's the best way to go. Right. So, right. I think Neil, I'm gonna take your yeah, advice. Let's and do we it. Think I'm gonna take Neil, advice. what have right, you been digging on? So Netflix and ESPN Docs has a show that's been they've been releasing episodes weekly. And it's called The Last Dance. So it's primarily centered around the 97 98 Chicago Bulls. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. And it also delves a bit into like each major player's history with the team, like when they started. But it's mm -hmm. primarily around Michael Jordan, Jordan and the 97 98 Bulls. And it's been a real fantastic series. Space Jam. I, yep. oh, <laughs> they, 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 they go into a little bit in that there. And um, as somebody who doesn't watch basketball, aside from last year, because I had to watch the Raptors win the title. <laughs> as somebody who isn't like a basketball fan, I, well, I would say it's not even my top five sports I'd watch. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd put hockey above that, just because, but that's another discussion. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to, listen to this Canadian stammer <laughs> about being. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a great series. Uh, they just, I, I guess they just released all uh, the last episodes this past Monday, mm -hmm. and I mean it's it's been great. So since we're talking about it, we 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 just recently sort of started watching it. Oh, you got to do your alcohol. Before oh yeah, you go. Oh, alcohol, yeah. alcohol. Yeah. alcohol. Oh. So, for alcohol, I would say anything Sherwood Mountain. Locally. Yeah, boy. Um, yeah. Shout out ice. to Sherwood. We're still waiting for that sponsorship. <laughs> Give it to us. <laughs> um, That'll be all we drank. We get back that. Sherwood, what was it? Uh, Smirnoff Ice. All right. Um, I'm not summer. really picky about any form of cannabis, to be honest. I it's in just all in any way possible. <laughs> you like that. He's like, I just want to get high. Pretty yeah. much. Because I got high. Because I got high. Me? Yeah. Oh, I'm not ready. Yeah. 
What have you been digging? I'm not ready. You were going right. to say it. <laughs> no. Where'd you go? I'm not ready. Yeah. Where'd you go? He okay, went to another place. Go. Birthday boy is going to go. Me? Yeah. Okay. What have I been digging? Oh man, you know what? I've been trying to find a lot of the silver lining. I think and all this bullshit. You know, it fucking sucks homeschooling these little wonderful children. Um, Mason. Mason is twelve and he is pushing. He has an opportunity to have straight A's right now, and I'm really big on education. So I'm like, shut the fuck up and do your work. Like, and he just won't. He pushes back. Mason is ADHD. Um, so, you know, there might be, like, a, a different autism spectrum there. But he is. He has ADHD, which I had as a kid. So I'm like, look, dude, I get that it's hard to concentrate. But just, you know, circle back to it every couple of minutes. He won't fucking do it. I'm trying to raise this math grade with him. And it's just, oh, my God, it's so bad. And then I have Owen, who's six. And I'm like, hey, Owen, do you like an eye ready? He goes, okay. And then he's done five minutes later. And then Mason's like, well, why does he get all this stuff? And I'm like, because he fucking did his work. And then the baby, who's like a year, is like, you know, pooping five times a day. <laughs> so that's what I'm not digging. <laughs> but what I am digging is I'm really, I, I dig my kids being here. I dig being able to teach them how to do laundry and, you know, sew up a buttonhole or, you know, how, just to teach them to be fucking people, you know what I mean? Like, I was going to say, um, we need to teach our kids. I am i don't know. I'm not a hunter, but I could figure it out. I'm not afraid to get dirty. And then I got you guys, and I'll watch YouTube, so whatever. But I have seeds for days. Nobody come to my house and try and rob me. <laughs> but I just dig the togetherness. It sucks because I have a whole other part of my family that I can't see right now because you know, that person is fighting cancer and we want to keep him as safe as possible. But I was very fortunate to go over to my oldest sister's house and social distance. We sat at least five feet apart all the time. And uh, I just got to talk to her and see her face. And, and that for me was, was just, it was honestly very strengthening spiritually. Um, I'm also digging the time that I have to organize the fuck out of this house even though I don't get to do it 24 hours a day, I was actually telling Malcolm, I was like, I just need to throw shit away, but I can't do it. You know, growing up, you know, above or below the baseline, you're like, oh, fuck, I can't throw away this remote because what if I need it another day? <laughs> or like later on, I don't need to buy it. So I'm just honestly, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm a hoarder. I have a problem. I have a problem with shoes. Give a little advice right now. Um, <laughs> In the last five years, ask yourself if you've used it in the last five years, and if you haven't, toss it. Toss it. I can guarantee you, I've used everything within the last five years. I'm everywhere. Does it spark joy? Oh my God! Okay, Mary Kondo or whatever her name is. Yes, it does. Because I'm thinking, how can I use this shit later? I could like show you all this shit right here, but I'm not gonna because that's another one. But order, throw it away. I'm not shut your fat mouth. Okay. I'm glad we can still hear you even though your camera died. Yeah, I'm glad. Like, Duff's camera. My camera died? Oh, Ball Duff. Died. I see him. Hello. Who's your little green balloon? And what about but your alcohol, I can still friend? see you. My alcohol? Oh, fuck. Like, honestly, I can almost drink anything. Doing shots is, like, you know, if we were hanging out, I'd want to do shots to get, like, where I need to go quicker. I drink cheap shit, you guys. Like, I like champagne. I could mix things with vodka, anything. But when it comes to weed, all right, I used to smoke a lot of pot. And then when I had the kids, I was like, oh, I can't really do that right now. But now they're older and, like, they won't die when they're sleeping. So my thing is I like that. I got to clean the house weed. That's sativa shit. I've been looking everywhere. Nobody has any sativa it's always that indica in the couch shit where you smoke it and you go on a night or you eat a whole bag of hot cheetos like i want that shit where i smoke it and i could like do stuff you know alcohol is easy i drink kind of everything not... my favorite alcohol is just the alcohol part okay <laughs> i drink i said probably if i could motherfucker uh, that's right. no i had a friend that did that and she like did was not okay Ever again. Am I going to say mine now? Okay. What am I digging? I'm digging a shit ton of the time that I'm spending with my wife. Yeah. Oh. All right. That. 
Normally, Aww. normally, n- normally, normally, she's doing uh, the whole num num thing, and I have to go in to pinch her up. Shantae, don't cry, you bitch. I don't normally, cry. I'm hard as a rock. Norm- normally, I have to go in, into the world and find some shit job to <laughs> work and be and be a part of and do that sort of situation. I don't get to do the things that I truly want to do because I truly she love wants baking. To stay home and make sugar carrot jerseys. I thought you were going to say mate. Like, yeah. Yeah, boy. I did too. Make babies. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> no. 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 Like, Although. Well, Although we like, <laughs> like practice. Make the time with two backs. Yeah. Stop it right now, everyone. <laughs> no, but I, 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 I truly enjoy being with like my wife. Be with me. I really don't like being at a shitty job. And every other job that I do in the world doesn't matter what it's the fuck it is. What's it's gonna shitty. happen is we're gonna be we're gonna have a bakery and we're just gonna be together all the time. That's just how it's supposed to be, and that's like we're happy it's being that. So when he has to leave the situation and go work because we're not busy or whatever, then it's shitty. And yeah. right now we're busy and it's always good right now, so we're always together. So yeah. he's happy. I'm happy. Nice. I'm I'm happy. What a feeling to just be happy, just being. You know what I mean? Like in the company of. Yeah. Yeah, I've it's a never, special thing. I'm lucky, oh, I'm fucking lucky. very lucky because I've never, I've never experienced this with anybody else ever, ever, I ever. A best friend. <laughs> and let me tell you about my best friend. No, 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 no. I've, I've done the whole like I've been out of the country away from my wife and my kids for Lots nine months. Times. Nine months. A total yeah. of nine it's hard. months it was without the being time. family. The longest time. Nine months. I remember talking to you, Shantae, when he was gone working in Canada and you were still out here, and it was very, very hard on you. So, I am... So, he's digging it. I'm digging it. I miss my... I, I, I do, when I'm gone, I miss my kids, and I get to spend a lot of time with my kids now. I get to spend a lot of time with my daughter, who loves the shit out of me, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. every morning, she tends to fucking come into our bedroom and... Wake us up. <laughs> Wake us up. But and, she's uh, the best asshole. The shit out of us, so that's okay. So. Dude, to hear a man say that he he loves the closeness, I think, of his children is just so refreshing. You know what I mean? Like That's another thing that I'm thinking a lot is my son, because I'm getting closer with my son. Mm-hmm. Right? And that's important. For my son, for long periods of time, did, did put a divot in our relationship. So now that we're spending a lot of time together, it's not mommy. It's he's asking for daddy now. He's yelling for daddy now instead of you're like yes. And a little, a little bit inside of me, I'm going yes. Uh-huh. Very fucking loud. You should. Inside. Of course, you should. Because because you know there was there was a distancing that was happening because I'm I'm not home, right? Right. But now that I'm home, it's daddy, daddy this, daddy that, daddy this, right? So, but you also taught him hard work too. You taught him the work ethic was important. <laughs> I would hope. You did. But my liquor. Yeah. Here we go. Liquor. There's a list. Liquor, beer, whatever. All right. No. Um. I'm a gin drinker. Mm-hmm. Uh. Yeah. I'm a gin drinker. Cheers. I do like vodka a little bit on the higher end. And I do like a lot of fucking whiskey, mostly scotch. But I am a gin drinker. Yeah. So if you're listening, I like gin. And you're wizarding. And if you're you're wizarding, I'm sorry. I'm going to be on the very high end of the wizard. So don't fucking wizard me because you're not going to be able to afford it. What about weed? Uh, Weed. I do like to smoke, but not so much now. So I do a lot of edibles. Mm-hmm. Anything and everything edible. 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 So. Well, your wife's a baker, so you're a lucky guy, huh? <laughs> Always. Oh yeah. It's all about the macaronis. <laughs> it's 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 not my wife's the baker because I am the baker. He's the baker. Senate. You are too. You are. I like your little your little guys, and she always gives you credit for like your little characters that you you pump out there. No, it's not even just the characters. I bake all the cakes. <gasps> you did? Because I remember you, you said in the chat, like, hey, the cheesecakes are out. <laughs> oh, I'm 
cheesecake person. Shante does the cheesecakes and cinnamon buns. Yeah. Yes, I do Some everything else. Yeah. I do everything else. I was supposed to when make I'm well, Chris. Them, but when I'm not, when um, I'm there. the situation right now is there's no yeast. So I have to hook up <sighs> place to get yeast, and I, I forgot. So yeah, it's it bizarre, there. right? Like, it's all this yeast. Oh, wait, it's no, okay. I do pie, though. I yeah. do do pie. Chris is a pie person. I'm not. I refuse. I don't make I'm pie. not really a big pie person either, unless it's chocolate pie. mousse. No, we love pie. I just yeah. don't make pie. I'm like, I'm, I, me and pie crust have this weird relationship. I have. <laughs> I have a beautiful relationship with anything that but I make. But pastry, mind you. Yeah. Like, good job, Chris. Real man. We make things, I'm good, but pie crust, I mean, we fight. This is why we do what we do, mm -hmm. because we are what we are. We talk about things. You are the perfect bookends <laughs> to a beautiful marriage. Hey, we are stop that. That's ridiculous. Enough of this. One person. If we I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> when it comes to the baby. Making the rest of the, everybody at the table jealous, you That's dicks. Nice. Stop talking about it. So let's end it with a bang, guys. I really do want to end it with a bang and happy. Bang, bang, bang. And I want Malcolm to tell us what he's digging, what he's drinking, and what is enjoying? let's talk to this guy. It's his night. Uh, well, you know what? In the midst of all this, in the, the pandemic and this virus that's coming around, and all the bad news that seems to be going around, everybody's on edge and everybody's sick of the pandemic and nobody wants to isolate anymore. Everybody wants to get out there into the world and start living again. I'm loving life, man. That's what I'm digging. For the first time in a long time, I could say that I'm enjoying life. Loving it. I'm enjoying it. You know, you know last, Ditto. Year, last year was a rough time, but uh, I feel like we've come a long way. Yes, we have. Uh, we've accomplished a lot of things. I've met some amazing people. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Start from the bottom now with you. That's right. Yeah. I'm, whoop, whoop. I look forward to every day when I wake up. Much pain and that way, and you get older. And... You're not old. I'm sitting here with a dorky fucking party hat on, and I don't care, man. Love it. This is fun, you know. As, as crazy as things are, as, as you know, we're locked up. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm having a good time. You know, I got a little trail down the hill towards my friend's place. It's like one of the only places I go. Yeah, our our circle is small. <laughs> Because yeah. we well we kind but it's of, always been the size. <laughs> we made that decision to do that because we go we want to socialize inside of our houses. Mm -hmm. This is the safest way to do it, you know. So I got a trail going that way, and I got a trail going towards my brother Oliver's place, and a trail going to my mom's place. I visit her once in a while to check on her. You don't have to check on my folks because they got they have uh, jeopardized immune systems, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. I worry about them a lot. And in despite of in spite of all that, I'm I'm enjoying things. I'm really looking forward to every day. Uh, recovery is coming along great. I don't know if I mentioned it on air at all, but I did get a fucking knee replacement a couple months ago. He was doing jumping jacks the other day. The it was crazy. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's good. Grandpa John, no. is it Grandpa Joe getting ready to go to the chocolate factory? <laughs> He's just he's running around. Heels, no, 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 no. Fucking bogus. I'm, I'm barely walking. Just kidding. <laughs> he has a cane. Uh, no, I've seen you like you know. It's not like like a like a regular walk, but it's not like a whole oh, hobble, you know. It's like a you're getting stronger every day. It's a pimp walk. He yeah. sea walks around. Sweetheart, it's a pimp walk. He's pimping around. Pimp walk, sea walk. Yeah. Pimping. And uh, probably the cherry on the top of everything was uh, I met Sarah. Months ago. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. After I met her forever. It's, it's like after <laughs> six of podcasts. That's pretty much how we met. We were talking about something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We snagged that girl. Up. And one thing led to another. There we go. We here are. we are. Yeah. What? A, here yeah. I am, so two thousand miles away. That's right. So, so we'll, we'll all get together soon. We'll all break bread. Yes. Look how little this story um, we got. Uh, <laughs> what else was I going to say? Uh, thank you, everybody, for the birthday wishes. In, in uh, oh, you guys, we didn't sing happy birthday. I think we should do that right now at this point in time. Already. <laughs> On three. One, two, three. Happy, happy birthday. birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday. birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday, dear Zaya. I hope you can't hear me by myself. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Yay! Maybe more, mother.
fucking Blow out bitch. your candle, bitch. Happy 29th birthday, bitch. Thank you. And that's that, guys. 29th. All right. All right. All right. Uh, so your drinks and your weed, what do you like? Let's see. Um, I'm pretty simple. For booze, I would say uh, Glen Fiddick 12 Year Scotch. Uh, lovely. Any, and anything Sherwood. There we go. Uh, for smoke, I am a smoker and vapor. I vape weed. I prefer to vape weed so I, because it's, it's just less harsh on my lungs. Right? So mm-hmm. I prefer sativa. A good sativa. Mm. You know, Yay! Yeah, as, a, as a person with bipolar disorder, I don't know if many people know this, but uh, indica can tend to bring you down and make you Sure does. I have bipolar disorder too. It took me a long time to figure that out, what I was doing wrong. And then mm. I tried some indica or some sativa. And it was like peppy. And I was and like, there wow, you go. Peps great. Yep. Uh, I like, I do like edibles too. I like a good brownie. Oh, um, yes. I like a good candy. I love me some Phoenix Tears. I take it three times a day. I take it once, once every night. Mm-hmm. Here, boom, done. I want to try some Phoenix Tears. Amazing. Like, it, it's one beautiful of the thing. Is I don't dream. I, I almost never dream when I'm taking Phoenix That's weird tears. because I, I dream all the time. I just don't remember it. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. Well, Sometimes if I don't take a big enough dose of oil before bed, I'll have a dream, but I won't remember it. But no, 90% yeah. of the time, I don't dream. I dream so, every uh, time. No it, tends, it's, it. it tends to be a good thing because I do get nightmares and night terrors. Night so terrors. I yeah. think it's bad. So, so I'm going to add I'm gonna add to my... I'm going to add to mine. I'm gonna to add to my um, not my weed or my alcohol thing. I'm gonna to add to my digging thing. Yeah. What I'm digging a lot is my brother opening up a lot more and being more present. Are you talking about Malcolm Campbell? Yeah, we're talking about Malcolm Campbell. Okay. <laughs> I totally like that too. I dig that your brother I, is opening I, up. More. I am digging that he's at my house almost every other fucking day. Yeah. Yeah. Now. Whereas, I dig it too. <laughs> whereas, 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 whereas before it wasn't so much. Yeah. Where it was a big, it was a big, it was a stretch. It was a yeah. stretch to get my brother to my house. I dig that Neil too. Yeah. And I dig that we got Neil back. Yeah, man. It took a while. I dig connecting with Neil and Chris because Shantae and Malcolm, I knew you guys, but I got to like sit and kind of chat with Neil last time and just kind of like, because we're all getting into D&D, which is way cool. And Chris, I got to just kind of touch base with you. And it's just there, there's uh, awesome people who are just kind of coming out. And it's, I cannot wait to to dig more and to see, you know, the rest of you guys in this beautiful thing that we have going on here. Yeah. So. I love it. Good times, and good awesome. I guess, I guess another good thing with this world slowly opening up again is that we get to go and see our other family and their loved ones, right? Yeah. I know Very true. I'm looking forward to going over the border. Yes. Right? Awesome. Looking forward to being able to see my daughter and my son and my godson. And yes. Um, and my nephew and niece and my own sibling. Right. So yeah. It's just going to be nice to be able to get out there and see those people again. Yeah. So, and hug them, I think, is the biggest thing, is because a hug just. That's a big thing. Holding them is a big thing. Yeah. 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 So, Are you guys ready? Yeah, we're ready. Yeah. Are we ready? We'll lock it up. So we ready. All right, let's go, let's let's lock it up and hold each other. All right, so you want to rattle out that good shit then? All right, do you remember what is our good shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you can reach here. us yeah. Facebook F this account, yep. Yep. Instagram F this account, <laughs> Twitter. It's tricky, it's a bit tricky. F account, F account, reach us everywhere, just fucking everything, just do it. Email too, fuck it. Everything is yellow and black. You're going right. to find us. YouTube. There you go. This, network this is an F This Network production. Yeah. And there's like four or five of them. Yeah, we're on Apple Music. But this is one of them. <laughs> music. YouTube. Right. I finally set up Apple Music after how long we thought we were on there. <laughs> <laughs> we are there now. Come looking for us. You're going to find us. F This. And I know everybody's F-this. using Spotify. Everybody's all over Spotify. We're there too. Look yes. at us. Look we're in Spotify. Look at us. F FThis.com. And leave some love. F this network. Everything is F this network now. And you'll find all of our past episodes, all of the links and videos that we talk about here. You can find them there also. We shall. Inbox us with questions. Yeah. Inbox yeah. us privately. Get involved. Also, oh, yes, get involved. Yes. Be a part of us. If you hear or find some nerdy shit. Yeah. If you have a Deshanteism. 
follow the fucking noise. If you want to talk about mental right? health, if you want to talk about something that pisses you off, if yeah. you want to be like, what the F were they thinking? Yeah. Send us a message. Let's talk about it and have a good time. We're back, bitches, and we're zooming. Right, right. So let's hang out. All right. Boom. All right. You guys have a wonderful fucking time. Love I'm that. Duff. Shantae. Swanili. Sarah. <laughs> Malcolm. Have yourself a fucking wonderful fucking quarantine. We love you. Have a- Hold Bye. each other close. Bye.